You need some promotion points? Come on. Army Correspondence Courses. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joe Sonner French, and on today's episode, I'm gonna show you a way that you can get an additional 78 for E5 and 84 for Staff Sergeant promotion points towards your next promotion in the United States military. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about the Army Correspondence Courses Program the ACCP, and this is a program that is built and designed for you to expand your mind, learn some stuff online, and get some promotion points along the way. Now, what exactly are Army Correspondence Courses? Online training. That's it, it's just online training. This online training, when you rack up enough hours, it'll equal points. Those points equal promotions. So for the ACCP, this is basically a program that is built into the military that you will do some online training that equals to promotion points along the way. Now, why you need this program? For E4s to E5s, this is an additional 78 promotion points. And for E5s to E6, it bumps up to 84 promotion points. Now, these promotion points are crucial. See the PPW video above. It's gonna tell you all about that promotion list and how to get promoted. Now, when we talk about how do I get 78 promotion points, how do I get 84 promotion points? It's all about how many hours you do. For every five hours that you do on this online training, you get one promotion point. So you can add that up very quickly. I don't math in public. This is kind of public. It's kind of like, yeah, it's public to me. Now, how do you get these promotion points? After you complete the online training, you get the certificate and you complete it all the way through. Every section until completion and you get that certificate is when these hour long trainings will add up. Now every 30 minute class and above will count towards the promotion point. But you only get the promotion point when you have that certificate at the end. Now once you get that certificate at the end and you say rack up five to 10 hours in one day, after 48 to 72 hours, your promotion points will update. They will update on your ERB and that will update on your PPW. And you will see them reflect very, very fast. Now on to where we do these online training. Online. Sometimes you gotta say it. In this next clip, I'm gonna show you the three websites that you could be doing online training and getting those correspondence courses. All right, whoa, 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 stop. Hit the subscribe button. Just hit it, you're already here. It's been a couple minutes, yeah? Stay here, I got a lot more information coming your way. All right, there's three different sites and sources that you can go to to complete these correspondence courses. And the first one you're gonna go to is ALMS, A-L-M-S. You're gonna type that in, United States Army, LMS, Dot army. Once it's loaded in, you're going to come up to this distorted page and you're going to click the home key on the top left. Once you're there, it's going to look like this. You're going to have some classes on there that you've completed before or you're in the process of cleaning right now. Then on the side, you'll see search, mandatory training, transcripts, completed training, all of these things. You could search your classes and complete them in here. And this is just one of the sites that you have that you can use to complete correspondence courses. All right. One of the next sites is, is JKO. You can go to JKO and it's your joint knowledge online, just like AKO. And you're going to come on here. It's going to ask you to log in. Click enter JKO at the top. It's going to ask you to do your login, your pin, and get all that good stuff in there. It's going to ask you to log in. And eventually you're going to get to a page just like this. It's going to show you all the courses you may have completed below. It's going to have on top the course catalog of anything you can click into. And you're gonna see on the side here, hours it takes to complete these courses. Now we talked about in the beginning of the episode that every five hours equals one point. So you could start to do calculations of how many of these you have to do. All you gotta do on the side is click enroll. I did it just to practice on this military history detachment one and it has five hours. Just clicked enrolled. I'm gonna click resume just to show you what it looks like. It's gonna come up like this. You're gonna click resume. It's gonna start going into this class and start teaching you this class, slides, all that good stuff. Once you complete, you'll be able to see your certificates. Click on the certificate tab at the top. You'll be able to see some of your certificates going back and you'll be able to add this in as another website that you can use to complete correspondence courses and get those much needed promotion points. All right, and the last site, and personally, it's one of my favorite sites to get this stuff done early on in my career, and that is Army Skillport. Now it's gonna come up as Army eLearning, usarmyskillport.com. You're gonna to to click that and get logged in. Now your username is going to be your email address without the tag at the end of .mil at mail.mil. Now some of you that might change, you might have to go down to get your username, get your password, it's super easy. Password will come in an email to your .mil and you'll be able to copy and paste that and get logged in. Once you're logged in, it's gonna come up with a bunch of words, a bunch of bold, a bunch of black text. On the top here, you'll be able to see your learning transcript. 
This will be your learning transcript. It'll show you all the classes that you completed throughout your career. Back, you'll be able to go to Browse Library on the top here, and you'll be able to see an abundance amount of classes that you can go through. All the classes, all the stuff that you can click on, all the tabs you can click on, IT skills. You click on IT skills, it'll even come up and show you a list of classes that you can do to help yourself with IT skills. As well as coming back up here, you see certifications, business, productivity, collaboration tools. There is a ton of stuff in here. Test prep exams, Microsoft Teams training, all kinds of stuff that you can get. And this is a great, great source for those Army Correspondence courses. On the side, you'll also see the technical support, learning app, frequently asked questions. I want you to take a look at this promotion points information link. And on here again, you'll see that it says 30 minutes or longer in length in order to count towards promotion points. And just to cement the fact, you receive one promotion point per every five hours of training. You see on here, it takes about 48 to 72 hours of training like we spoke about early, and that'll hit your ERB right after that. But this is one of my favorite sites, a great site to complete this stuff. Once you come through and you say you click on one of these and you get into one of these trainings, I'll be able to show you, you click enroll on the side, once you click enroll, you want to add this to your learning plan, click yes. You can add on here when you want it to be due and add this and make this a little bit into your learning plan. Click save, go up to your view your learning plan. It's in there. Go ahead and click it and you can get started. On here you'll see these are the sections of it. You'll see launch. Once you click launch, it'll come up after you complete it. Should put a little completed sign on the side. Army skill port, one of the best ones that we have. Once you completed some of those correspondence courses, you're going to be able to check your ERB and on there in the middle of your ERB, just above the assignment information, you'll be able to see your correspondence course total hours right here. Now, this number is going to fluctuate continuously. So if you get 900, you get 800, you get 100. As the Army determines what courses are still valid, those numbers may go down. So you may see some of those numbers come down. That's just the Army updating its list of courses that are actually valid. So that's the where of where you're going to find those correspondence courses in the United States military. I've already told you the how. I've already told you the when. And I already told you what Army Correspondence Course Program is. Now you got to go do it. So you get that step ahead of your peers and be that first person in line for the next promotable position for sergeant to staff sergeant. And today, that's the drill. All right, if you liked the episode, hit that like button, comment below, be sure to comment on you back. Hit that subscribe button or hit that follow button if you're on Instagram. I wanna thank all my supporters through my entire time that when I started back in March, I can't thank you enough. Dominate the day.